off the beneficial scoring for the United States on vault. We stay on this apparatus for China. Xing Hao Wei will be the first to go. 9-3-1-2 on floor exercise. 9-7 on pommel horse. This is a very powerful vaulting team for China. Oh, his steps are off. Wow. And he stepped over the line on the side. Yeah, that is not going to get a good score. Sometimes you're so much adrenaline that you're just a little bit too quick down the runway. He can do this vault much, much better and actually was planning to do another half turn. Actually had trouble in the team qualification round. He only scored a 9-1. He's done something perhaps to his lower leg. Stay with the Chinese now, Yang Wei. And the next two vaulters for China are just, are just incredible. And he's been great so far. Nine six five on floor, nine five six two on rings. This is worth a ten. Triple twist off the horse. Did you catch that? <laughs> that is ridiculous. One of the problems with gymnastics is that, that is just so much more difficult then 99.9% of the gymnasts, what they're performing in the world today. Won a bronze medal at last year's world championships on this event. Now we're still not sure whether the Morgan Hop vault scenario has been worked through. This does not look good. This is the, the men's technical director. He is the president. Stoika from Romania and he has been looking at a videotape and has come over to So they discuss. did go to video. They did go to video. Yang Wei. That's a home run. 9.75. You know in sports if uh, from an American perspective anyway. If the receiver's going out of bounds and he know he bo is bobbling the ball and the side judge says he caught it. He's going to say thanks. There you go. If a hitter's at the plate and the umpire calls a strike the ball. Thank you very much. So they're just going to let it let it play out. Lee Chiao Peng. Al, this vault is impossible. <laughs> Crazy, eh? Little over rotation. Unbelievable. I tell you, every every gymnast in the world would. Can't even conceive of doing that ball. That is incredible. He did this during podium training, and all of the gymnasts, typically the top gymnasts, are watching the other top teams, and everybody from name off on down looks at that, and it's just like, how, how is that possible? Won last year's world championships on this event, so it helps that you've got the bronze and gold medalists. These guys are posting big scores here. Half on, two and a half twist off. We heard this guy was doing this vault a little while ago, and it's like, there's no way. That's it, that you just can't do it. And you know, in the crazy world of gymnastics right now, you know, you take off a little bit for sidestepping. You think, okay, nine, eight something, but that gets, for all its spectacular look, a nine, seven, six, two. So the judging conversation still continues amongst those at the vault where the United States has moved on. China flexing its muscles, Russia fading fast. The United States in silver position after four rotations. They'll be moving on to the parallel bars as we continue from the Arrowhead Pond in Anaheim. After this, this is the 2003 World Championships of Gymnastics. Back in Anaheim, California, a reminder to log on to NBCSports.com for coverage of the World Gymnastics Championships, including news and features on the top performances. It's all right now at NBCSports.com. There's a scoring story after four events, six rotations for the men. China with a lead of three tenths over the United States, then Japan pulling away from Russia, or is it really just Russia falling away from Japan? Paul Hom of the United States. And I'll tell you, I would have hated to come up with the lineup on parallel bars. This is 
certainly one of Team USA's best events. Look at this right here. New skill for Paul, and that is a big deduction. Like White. I said, White. new skill for Paul. He came out of it on the front uprise and rushed the straddle cut. His leg clipped the bar. All right, good job, Paul. Had a form deduction, and I'm not sure they could give him credit for even doing that straddle cut catch. It's a requirement. Good job. I'm sure he is shocked. That's that's a part of his exercise that is the easiest. Now, it's tough to tell which way you should look right now. You've got Blaine Wilson, and that's always interesting as he's chalking up. But now, Adrian Stoika. I'm coming. I'm sorry about what. It was a big mistake. Of course. I, I, I cannot imagine how, how, how the judges could be so stupid. I know. <laughs> Yeah. I was, so it's not, not your mistake, but... <laughs> I was walking back here, so I didn't I, I actually yeah. didn't there see it. There is so. Adrian Stoika, president yeah, well. of the Men's Technical don't, Committee, don't delivering the bad no. news to head coach Kevin Majika that a mistake had been made. And the word stupid was yeah. used. <laughs> what so what, there's mean? a deduction? There, there will be a deduction. They'll correct the start value score. They'll lower it from the 9-9 nine nine that it was given initially. I was and make it back here, so I didn't the correct 9.5. So four tenths of a point will be deducted. We off. think. Now, Tim, I, I'm, I'm confused. Obviously, look, this is very, very difficult to see live, and we always say how we have the benefit of replay. But you picked it out right away. Yeah, that it's a mistake that should never, ever have happened. There, the way the judging panel is set up, there are actually three guys that their only responsibility is to look at the exercise and come up with the start score. They're not looking at the dungeons or they anything. They have given him that 9-1-1-2. So now the United States, which trailed China by only three tenths, is now going to trail China by seven tenths and more. And that's devastating. Come on, Blaine. To Blaine Wilson on the parallel bars. And the United States is just taking a little bit of a hit here. So either that's rattled the group or it's to be honest, inspired the group. I, I don't think that they I don't think that they're gonna know. They informed Kevin Majika, the head coach, but my guess is that he wouldn't even tell the team. A lot of big skills done in a row here. Of course, one of Blaine's best events. He scored 965 in the prelims. A little bounce check there. Dismount. Just having trouble with those stuck landings at this competition. Good exercise, though. Paul Hahn, by the way, got a 9.425 on the parallel bars. And that actually hurts also because this team could average in the 9.65, even close to 9.7 area. I don't think we saw the best of Blaine Wilson there at all, and he gets a 9.55. Yeah, in... Are we ever going to see a 10 again, do you think? Ever? Well, by the rules, I would say that it's very difficult to happen. So we've legislated the home run out of the game. It's too bad. Here's Jason Gatson. This is a super difficult exercise and very unconventional. This move right here, called the Gatson. He invented it, they named it after him. has a super aggressive style on parallel bars. And Tim, one thing that he has done extremely well on all his events is stick the landing. And he does there. His arms went up, the arms of the crowd went up at the same time. And that keeps this feeling of momentum for the United States in the building. Big time. Jason Gatson back from two knee reconstructions. Started with an 8.9 on floor. 
Then the 9-7 plus on rings. All those lonely hours in the gym for a day like this in front of a crowd that is loving it. Might as well wait and see what the number is. Best of the bunch, 9725. So in one moment, the United States suffers a deduction. That was the right thing to do. And Jason Gatson gives him something back. That felt great for him.